Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about inducers today. Now, inducers were installed on uh, most gas furnaces, uh, middle 80s. Uh, this was uh, to increase efficiency. They made the heat exchangers a little more efficient, and that reduced the vent temperature enough that uh, the gases would not uh, pass out through the chimney naturally. So we needed a helper fan to uh, get the gases out the chimney. So we came up with these inducers and they kind of suck on the furnace. They suck on the outlet which draws the uh, gases through. Now we got two types here. One type is the this is the 80% this is for 80% efficient furnaces. Uh, most of these are still uh, galvanized steel with a galvanized steel uh, blower wheel. Some of these are changing over to uh, plastic now. But uh, These things, uh, longevity, 10-12 eh, years, sometimes longer, occasionally a little less. Uh, most of them do not have oilers for their bearings. Bearings would be right here and right there. Uh, these bearings tended to get pretty warm because the shaft here uh, gets pretty hot. You know, this is over 200 degrees in some cases. So uh, this bearing tends to dry out and you'll end up with a uh, uh, drag. Now, if you listen close, you can hear that drag. Uh, that's what happened to this one, and it usually they just slow down and stop. The symptoms will always be uh, you'll get a code from your integrated furnace control. It'll say pressure switch not coming uh, on, probably. A few of them will say that there's a problem with the inducer. Uh, but one way or another there won't be enough vacuum to start the furnace and without the vacuum the furnace will not start so it all starts here if this thing does not come up to speed or does not start at all you can tell if it's running because this is available out there you can see it and so it should be turning this one here this one's for a 90 percent furnace now this one's a little different it's a plastic housing but the blower wheel is plastic also. Most of these are plastic now uh, because unlike the 80 percent furnaces these 80's uh, there was no condensation. Uh, generally there will not be any appreciable condensation in these things. Water is part of the products of combustion natural gas so if I cool the vent gas down enough it'll start condensing. Well that's what these do. They're designed to condense the water out of the gas. If you've uh, ever looked at a vent pipe on a gas furnace in the middle of the winter you'll see steam coming out. That's the water. Well this condenses an awful lot of that water out. Uh, corrosion problems are pretty much doing in the uh, galvanized so they put plastic ones on. But you'll notice this one's not so great either. It's got a bit of a crack in it and it's dragging. The motor hasn't failed on this thing, it's the blower wheel. In both cases, these, both these blowers, you pretty much cannot replace the motor alone. Especially this one, I don't even think you can get the blower wheel. Uh, these come as a balanced assembly, that means that the blower wheel is mounted and then the motor is started and it's balanced at that point. And balance is fairly important. These things run uh, around 3,000 RPM. Uh, I don't see it on this one. Uh, but balance is important so they balance the entire assembly. Uh, this one conceivably you could get the blower wheel off. There is a set screw there. Uh, I actually kind of say good luck at getting that off. Uh, sometimes you can get them off, sometimes you can't. Uh, chances are real good that if you do get it off you will have warped this wheel 
and if you warp the wheel it will not balance and because it's not going to be a balance assembly if you get the blower wheel if you can if it's available uh, this probably will vibrate which will mean early failure and noise so uh, 10 12 years sometimes longer with these things uh, they're OEM so that means you're pretty much going to have to just buy the one that is for your appliance uh, you're not going to be able to buy these as general replacement they just don't make them uh, they have to pull a specific amount of vacuum for the furnace they're in so it's going to be OEM uh, when replacing one it's usually like an o-ring right in here little red silicone like this stuff would be good to seal it when you're replacing this one here uh, there's a gasket goes in here I usually put some red silicone in it too that does need to seal uh, when you replace them uh, occasionally what you can do on one of these to get them going uh, for a short time is you can pour the oil down into this bearing just pour a bunch of it in there and keep turning it if you have a shaft that sticks out that you can put a drill on uh, this one doesn't have it but if you did and you could oil it and spin it that way and sometimes you can get a couple of days out of them that might get you out of trouble and that's all for inducers <laughs>